Hey, Perry here, Taylor Sound, tip of the day. Today is part two of Mixer Basics, and I'm just going to go into how to sweep an EQ uh, uh, to eliminate feedback. And basically, this is with a parametric EQ that you find on most mixers. First, you're going to want to take the knob here on the top here you see there's a it says mid and right here you can see it says negative 15 to plus 15 and right now it's set to unity which means it's absolutely uh, neutralized meaning there's no boost or no cut in terms of the gain and right here it's set at 600 kilohertz so um, what you want to do to find feedback sometimes I do is I put a little boost in here and then I'll actually sweep all the way down from the, the low end all the way through to the high end and a lot of times what will happen is you'll get over to about 4k or so and you'll hear a beep you'll hear a squeak and right where it is at the most intense, then I go up here and I cut it. And that will eliminate the feedback. So, uh, like I said, as this goes, I'll take and I'll boost it up a little bit. Not too much, because you don't want to get a lot of feedback. You just want to be able to take it through from the low to the high. So you're sweeping through and you're boosting all of those signals, all of those frequencies until you get to the place where it actually squeaks a little bit and then you get dial it in to where it squeaks the most and then you cut it back and that will be how you set your mid-range frequency uh, to eliminate feedback now in this particular mixer you can't set the frequency for the low end and the high end so you'll actually just need to uh, the, it, it's set at a certain frequency. I'd have to read the manual on the mixer to know exactly what frequency that is. But if you're getting some low end hum, then just turn this down a little bit. If you want some more low end on this signal, then you just turn it up. And same with here. If you're getting a high, high pitch squeak um, out, of your <clears throat> out of your microphone, then you just maybe want to cut this a little bit. So that's, um, that's working with your mixer for feedback in a very basic uh, mixer uh, that doesn't have a lot of options. But usually the feedback is right in here somewhere. Actually, probably more like right in here somewhere. Like 4 hertz, uh, three between 2 and 4 or 5 hertz right in there is usually where I find the most um, microphone feedback. So do, do your best to dial in your mixer in your rehearsal space so that you can eliminate the most feedback that you can. Hope that helps. Rock on.